today shopping and I don't have, I can't specify one shop or one place that I bought stuff because I was on my holidays for two weeks in Poland and I got some stuff. And I'm also mixing two other things that I got online, which was on eBay, just to let you know. Let's start. Let's start from eBay. I got two things from eBay. I got these. They're double pointed bamboo needles and they have different sizes um, but they're not 20 centimeters they're 13 centimeters shorter that's the word I want to use and they're from two millimeters to five millimeters although there is a gap there are 11 sets and it starts from 2 2.25 2.5 2.75 3 3.25 3.5 3.75 four, four and a half, and five. I think it would be perfect for small objects like toys or hats, and I'm doing an Irish picnic thing, and I'm using these, so woo! Next two things that I got, um, I got, I got pom-pom makers. These two, they're tiny. I used this for one pom-pom for the, for the Irish picnics, but I haven't noticed that this one is slightly bigger. Hmm. So I need to use this. And I got a set of these and they have four sizes. I used this one for the Irish picnics too in one hat. I'll see it in a future video. I already used the orange one for the next hat giveaway. So yee. So if you don't know how to use them, both of them, even these, you can separate them. So don't afraid to pull. I was for a bit. So basically a quick thing how it works you open it up join together get the yarn go around cut get the yarn go around cut close that's why you have those fancy things get sharp scissors and then you see there is a gap you cut it and then through that gap you get a um, piece of yarn and you just do one knot another knot and then you just open up and take it out. That simple. And the same is with these. I wasn't sure, but you can, you see, it's very hard with these. There is a, oh, a pin. That's how it works. That's all from eBay. Those 11 needle sets were for less then all of them were for less than three euro. These pom-pom makers were also less than two euro. Well, both. And that set was slightly more expensive, but um, that was also like three something or four something. So not that bad. Right, now shopping and yarn. In Poland, we went to a few markets. Anyway, in the first one, I got these. Oh my God, they're beautiful, aren't they? They are, aren't they? So what is it? From Madame Tricote Paris, Urin Bayan. It's marina gold, batik design, and it is 30% wool, 70% acrylic. And the color is 805. That's a lovely turquoise color, isn't it? It's exactly the same. 30% wool, 70% acrylic, um, marina gold, and this color is 808. I think these ones are for three and a half millimeter needles. Sorry, but it says four, four and a half, but no, I don't think so. And I wanted to make socks. But my mum saw it. She said it's too good for socks. So I paid for it. This is the price. To divide it by four to get it. So basically I paid three something less than four euro. Yeah, in my own town I went to two shops that you can buy yarn. Well, most of it is acrylic. But if I go somewhere I need to get something anyway. So last year I got two balls of each color. I used up uh, both of them. I just have those two. I made a hat for a giveaway with, uh, with this color. I did exactly the same. I got it from Opus. That's the name. It's Wuczka, so in Polish means yarn. 
And Mimosa Natura, that's what you call this thing. And it's apparently for three and three and a half millimeter needles. And it's 100% acrylic. And this color is, it's nice turquoisey color. And this color is 80. And I got two of these. Brown color, that's different. Opus, the same company. And it's Wuczka, so means yarn in Polish. And you have Polo Natura, color 217. Brownish, and these are on four and four and a half millimeter needles. And this is not 100% acrylic. It has a wool, ladies and gentlemen, and it's 50-50. So it's 50 wool, 50% acrylic and I got two of these but oh, planes travel broke in the second shop I was looking for nice colors and the only color that uh, was brought to my attention was this one it's a pink but it's like a faded rose color if I can call it that way and it's from company Arelan I think it's for three um, and three and a half needles it's 100% acrylic I presume yep yeah, 100 gram and it's called kotek which means kitten in Polish yeah kotek that's cute I got one they were made in Turkey and I like to get myself a souvenir and get something that it was um, is originally made in country so um, last time, the only wool I have 100% wool is an Irish wool from Kerry Woolen Mills. Um, I'll leave a link down below. I really like it. Um, I made a hat, a green one, and I will link down below if you want to, or here. But I wanted to buy a Polish wool um, because I've never had my hands on it. I went to Zakopane, it's a quite a famous town. Uh, Poland looked like a big crest, so it's on the bottom. Um, we have mountains and it's a big ski resort. Uh, well, obviously we visited where when the snow is not there yet, but there you have loads of shops and you have a lovely market. So if you're looking for yarn or you're looking for a wool, you're not going to get that there. No, no, you have to keep on looking. And the place you can get is a market. I got two kgs of yarn there. Here is one, here is another one. So if you don't know, this is, 1 kg so they're natural colors so i tried to pick the gray which is not so dark i got these uh if you follow me on instagram you probably noticed there's a big bunch and this is the way actually i got it like a big clump i'll throw the photo over here so you can see it um so as you can see and so i had to wash it this is the gray one and this is the smally thing that it kind of wrapped the thing and i think this thing is 85 gram this tiny bit this is the bigger one and another one kg of this one isn't it cute to be honest when I got it it smelled a little bit so because as we can know it was produced in an eco farm <laughs> eco echo this one is tiny one was wrapped around and this I basically weighed all of that thing and it was almost one kg I'm so happy I'll take photo and I'll add it to my stash. I'm still updating my stash. Uh, and it will take me a while. So anyway, I was thinking because I'm going to have a next podcast in a while, the third episode. And on the in the second one I do give away with so you can have a look over there. I know it's like 40 minutes watch. But there is a set two sets of needles circular needles that I give away but you need to be on Ravelry to um, enter and I think I will do this as a giveaway for the net po next po podcast so overall it's well it'll be over 100 I think it's like 80 I think it's like 75 and 80 or something like this well if you get it for free I don't think you will complain. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't done it yet. As soon as I post it, you can see how what to do. Ravelry, if you want to create a account on Ravelry, it's also for free. Yeah, so, and then find just group that I created, which is Knitting I Love, and you will find a giveaway threads. Uh, and I think that's quite exciting because I love this yarn so much, especially after I washed it. 
because it smells so good. I'm quite tempted to try and maybe dye a few skins of this, but oh, I don't know. We shall see because I don't have a plan. I basically went there and I saw yarn and I just got it. Right, if you have any ideas what I should do with it, write down your suggestions below and I hope to see you next time. I took something from my mom. I took this and this and this. I took this and this and this. This navy. And now the tiny ones. Twisted creamy and grey. That's so cool. Yep. And two of these. Bye. Oh yeah, you can find me on Instagram. That's the most up-to-date thing. Then Facebook, I'll put more photos over there. And I'm here all the time, so... See ya! We can roll it a little bit. And we have more over here, less over there.